Good evening, friends. As stated in the description, I'm Cheryl Elgy from Kerrang in northwestern Victoria, Australia, <clears throat> Victoria, Australia. And just thought I'd show you, I actually cased a card from the catalogue for my launch with retired papers, retired Christmas papers. And then I was wanting to create another card, so I dragged that one out and to, um, I've got anyone here? Oh yes, I have. Hi Kylie, Denise, Myrtle, Maria, Mandy. Hello, hello Glenda. So did you know that this paper, what's it called, Painted Christmas, this is due to come back. I've had this paper since last year and I forgot all about this. I forgot that it was coming back. Um, so I've used a piece from this pack. I didn't actually order. We could do pre-order. Um, what day was that? Wednesday was it? I think it was Wednesday. So I didn't actually, I meant to come and check how much I had. I'm glad I didn't. Because not that I don't like it, I do, but I've got a little bit left and I've ordered some new papers that are just yummy. You're just going to love them. And I'm using a piece from, did I show you these last week? I think I did. Um, Pretty Prints, this pack. Yeah, I did, the, I did some different ones with different colours of that one. So that's what I'm going to use tonight. I'll just show you how that looks together. Oh, and I'm casing... The catalog page. Let me just grab my catalog. But mine's going to be. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Mine's going to be better. <laughs> I don't really like the colours that they've used um, for their samples. Actually, I don't quite. I don't really like a lot of their samples, to be honest. Um, this one here with on the wisteria. That's turning the wisteria up the other way and we've got little Christmas trees. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I think you can. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to do those colours because I don't like them that much. So I'm going to use, I'm not sure which way, it doesn't really matter which way up because that's going to be covered. So we're going to put that on top of that. Then I've gone ahead and actually we have access to the that goes up there to the the um, recipes for what they've used in the catalog so my first one I'll show you this one this, is going to, this one's going to look totally different I actually dug out because I wasn't sure because we didn't have the recipes then of what would they would used. I actually dug out and I was looking for it last night and I couldn't find it. It's a die, but they have not used a die. So all I did was just draw a curve and I've just fussy cut that. So I thought, I mean, I could do that and show you, but I think you guys would all get the gist of that. So that one, I'll just pop that one over there and show you that. So that's gonna go there. Just gonna see if that's the right size on my card. It'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? You can probably, oh no, I can't stick it down yet. Might be a bit short, I oh, know. No, it's fine. We won't stick anything down yet. We can stick down our designer series paper though. Where's my glue? It takes like me more time to work out what papers and colours I'm going to use and it does actually do the cards sometimes. Now I want that those facing up that way. And I'll give you the this the measurement for this is just the normal base that you would have for your card, probably 10 centimetres by by um 14.4 I think I do them. And this piece here is uh, it's roughly a bit more than 11 and a half by um, roughly eight. This one here, that's I'm using this size for this piece 
for this card because that was a piece that I had left over. Whereas I probably would have preferred, I think this was eight. This was eight and a half by 12. So rather than waste this little piece, I decided to just use that. So I think I can stick that down as well. I was going to have a play around and see what it would look like if I if I um, punched out some trees with that tree punch, but I didn't get around to doing that. As I've said, I haven't been feeling that well lately, so I just thought I'll just keep it simple and do what I can do with um, as little fuss as possible. one of those out I cut I stamped and cut one of those out because you cut them out in a row of three so that can go there but I didn't do the other one yet so I thought I'd do that while you guys were watching now we need our, our mat for that and I might just get a little bit of scrap to do that on I'll grab our wisteria so it's the Wisteria Wishes is it's a beautiful I love this set this I told the girls was my favorite we had a little um, guessing competition thing um, they had to guess my favorite in color my favorite my favorite new in color my favorite bundle my favorite stamp and I told them that this I had to write them down I mean my favorite changes every every time I pick up a new stamp set, basically. But I said that this was my new favorite because you can turn the trees up that way and make them trees. You can use, and it's so simple. You just use a lighter color and then you pop this over the top for your two-tone colors. And it's also got the dyes as well. And you, you can get so many different looks with that one, um, that one set. It was one that I had to tell myself to put away, put away using it too much. Now I think that's going to be right. I was going to try that on there, but I think it's going to be okay. Anyway, we can flip it over and try again if it's not. There we go. So just clean this while that dries a little bit. We don't want to um, smudge it, do we? I'll just grab my, my chamois and give that a good clean Let's move that out of the way just want to make sure that's dry got my little little cut and emboss here yeah it's dry it doesn't take long to dry but if you do it straight away it can smear just grab my little one I'm loving my new magnetic platform but I managed last night to do the first, the other one, without any magnets. I just stuck it down with a bit of washi, I think. Oh, have I got a bit of washi there? Might be a bit wide. Yeah, it's a bit wide both ways. Let's just trim that down so it's going to fit in our little machine. I'll trim it that way, I think. sure I don't cut it too close. That's right. Now we may as well go this way as well. Those little scraps might be handy for something. Hi Gail. Hi Sharon. Hi Deborah. Kylie. Hi Anne. Hi Carol. Thank you for joining me tonight. This is great. I've got my little I've actually found some more of that. Now I've forgotten where I found it. That purple stuff. I think I got it from the two dollar shop here years ago. And I thought I'd I'd given some away and I thought, oh gee. Because I've got another little machine like this as well for classes. 
make things quicker. And just so handy to pass around the table. Hopefully I've got that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just be careful how I take that off. I don't want it to rip the ink off. Come off, come off, come off, come off. Now, pop this down out the way because we don't need that anymore. So when you get stuck, it's good to case the catalogue and get lots of inspiration. And even as I say, if they're not really your cup of tea like I'm doing, you can um, change the colours to suit your preference. Oh, did that not quite? No, no, it did. thought it wasn't cut for a minute. Pop our dye away so we don't want to lose him. Interested to see what this is going to look like with different colours and different papers. Let me just grab the logo there. And they go there. Is that about even? I could probably push that to there. Now, I don't think, did I pop those ones up? Yeah, I did, and I popped that up. Not quite stuck, that's not. Needs a bit of yeah, needs a bit of wet glue on that to stick that properly because it's sitting on the string. Hmm. Okay, so I'll grab some little oh, come here. Little um, dimensionals, little mini ones. I'm just gonna Make sure I've got these even. I want them meeting in the middle. I want, yeah, that's about right, I think. As long as I don't move anything. Oh, come on. Looks like I'm at the edge of my dimensionals. I have to grab another sheet of these. I might go with a big one there. Save me hunting for some more. I know where they are, but they're in, as you know, they're packaged up pretty well. So, yeah, anyway, well. I have had a lovely day today. A surprise phone call asking me if I wanted to go over to Waffles for lunch. Of course, I said yes. That was actually good because I got to um, exchange a, a, an item that I bought there last week. Because I just got off my live last week and I had a, a um, message from a friend asking me if I wanted to go over to Waffles for a belated birthday treat. Which, of course, I said yes to that as well. So, been a bit spoiled lately and then a specialist appointment this afternoon so which was enlightening so glad i gave the other one the sack no wonder i've been feeling rotten so should be all up from here on in hopefully change of medication and a change of diagnosis one more where are we a little tiny one. Here we go. Right. Stuck to my finger. Get off. As you can see, once you choose your colours, and you've got a bit of an idea where you're going. Why do I sit on the edge of my chair? My friend said she does the same thing when she's sewing. So we've got our all our different colours of trim. I want the white one, which is, of course, nearly to the end. <laughs> anyway, we'll put these ones back. And that's how you purchase those, which is a good idea, really. 
I'll probably use more white than anything. I can find the end. So that we're gonna go. I had thought about putting ribbon, but I think I'll stick with stick with the design that I already had in mind. I go changing things, I complicate things. Now yeah, I think my bit of string is, was different to this one, so yeah, I think it was thicker, so we might go. Do I have enough? Yeah, I think maybe, maybe, maybe not. Needs to be there, not there. Might only be a little bow. I think I've got it uneven. Uneven, um. There we go. That will have to do. Got there in the end. Let's cut that one off, I think. Which one's that? It's that one. Not an ideal bow, but I don't know here all night tying a bow, do we? Yeah, I'll put that. I've totally messed that one up now. <clears throat> now a Merry Christmas. I um I have already done one. Oh, I had a piece of red. Here we go, real red. Just I didn't know whether that might have been too thick. No. So this is just in case I mess that one up. So the Merry Christmas, as you may have guessed, is from. The Peaceful Deer, which is um, one of our last year's ones that's returned as well. And I love this Merry Christmas. And I love using photopolymer for um, sentiments, particularly because you can see where you're stamping. It's easier to get straight, she says, hoping that that's the case tonight. Anyway, I have a backup plan. I've done already done if I mess up which worked perfectly the first time, so. Okay, probably want it about there. Oh, no, how do I want that? I want that that way. I've just brushed the wrong side. My buddies are getting thinner and thinner. Is that how I want that? No, I want it. I want that. That's how I want it. Because I've already cut that side on an angle, so let's just do that. Can have that closer to that end. How did I go? Yeah, that's pretty straight. Um, did I put yes I did. Like a good girl, I did put my white embossing powder away. Anybody talking to me? Hi, Margaret. Hi, Rita. Hi Robin, hi Ruth. Have I missed anyone? Hi Denise friends. How are you? Hi Anne. Hi Diane. Just gonna grab my heat tool now, so close your ears.
always tricks me. I never know which way to go. And they're both pretty good. So then I can pop one away. And then next time I need real red with um, Merry Christmas, it's there for me, isn't it? So I'll pop that in my... Later I'll pop that in my box of ones that I... And use when I'm um, usually use them when I'm designing I can just grab something already done is good just do my usual trick of putting the putting the double-sided tape across there now I want that on a dimensional but I think I might use a strip. So we've got strips here. I don't want it too wide though. Hmm. Now we might just do this. Let's see how we go with this. Maybe put a piece either side, hopefully. Just either side of the string. I'm hoping. I don't know where I want that. Probably there. So I put that there. And that there. Is that going to be? Yes, it's going to be hidden. And that will adhere it. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. Um, well, when you're putting things over string, you want to connect the cardstock with the actual cardstock to cardstock. You don't want to. You don't want a knot, which I haven't here on this one. See, I haven't. See, it's all floppy. So I should have done what I've done tonight. So to fix that, I'm going to try. I'll try and fix it. I'll put a bit of glue there and there. I might put some here too. Up. Oh, I don't want to ruin it all together, do I? I'll put all my punches away like a good girl too, so I should put something on top of that to hold that so that that will just sit here. Now, that card front is here. I actually really like that. We need some, need some embellishments, don't we? And how quick and easy, apart from my, my fiddling with the string, which you guys wouldn't be doing that, would you? You'd have it all done as quick as quick as winks, wouldn't you? We'll have to find what we can put for use for embellishments now. Oh, and I need to put something on the inside of the card, don't I? Let's just let that adhere. What have I got on here? I've got those... They might be all right, those rhinestones. Any sort of rhinestones would be okay on this one, I think. These are the... I might try a bit, a bit of something different with these ones. I might try the normal, the old rhinestones, the old faithful ones. Might stand out more, I think. So we'll pop a big one there. We could use red, but I think red would just blend in with the um, with the red on the holly leaves. So yeah, we'll be right into um, oops designing Christmas cards once our pre-orders get here. A bit excited to see them in the real. It's always exciting to see things in the real isn't it in, in real life not in the real now I need to put something on the inside what do I do in here I just did the trees let's just do that then I could put a piece of paper but I think I'll just do the trees Nice and quick. 
It can come off the page a bit so that it... I wonder what that would... Um, I'm going to just see what that looks like. If I did it again to offset... Uh, if I can offset it. Oh, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to risk mucking it up. <laughs> Come this far. I've got anything in there that's going to... No. So we'll do the same on the envelope. Just come off there so that doesn't look like the tree's up in the air, which it does a bit, but we're not going to worry. Should have come down a little bit. Never mind. Okay, and have you checked out the clearance items? Most of my ladies have got already got what they need from the um, latest mini, which will be... But there are some good bargains out there, which will be um, finishing at the end of this month. So if you haven't if you missed out on something that you would like, you better head on over. Now, which one do you like the best? I actually can't pick. I um, That was last year's Christmas paper. I just don't have it handy at the moment. It was the 6 by 6 pack which is gorgeous, but I really love this paper and I love this too. And I think, I think, see, it just depends on your papers with the look of your stamps. Can you see those clearly? I think, yeah. Can you see the Yamo waffles? Where am I at? Oh, I'm at Kerrang, which is in between Bendigo and Melbourne. Um, Kylie and we have over at Kahuna which is a smaller town than Kerrang they have a really good business going that's called oh, it was just called waffles they do other stuff as well but if you've got a choice between waffles and a toasted sandwich well a toasted um, toasty or something like that what would you choose <laughs> thanks Margaret thank you yeah, it does, doesn't it, Denise? The red sentiment. Yeah. How are you, Belinda? Okay, so really quick tonight. I hope to be feeling better soon with a change of medication. So I'm not dying, guys. I'm not dying. Well, not that I know of anyway. So it's nothing. Well, it could be serious if it was um, left unattended like most things. But, um, but yeah, I'll be fine. I should be fine after I... After this lady gets me on the right track. So, yeah. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm pretty sure I'll be live again next Friday night. So, until then, thanks for watching and enjoy your weekend. Hey, okay, bye-bye.